to help defend Texas Attorney General Ken Paxton, whose state House Republicans voted to send to an impeachment trial in May. Private law firm Louis Brisbois Biscard & Smith was paid over $500,000 in public money to develop an outside report, Austin American Statesman reports. For the report, the Attorney General's trial, beginning September 5th, will center largely on criminal and ethical allegations the whistleblowers made against Paxton, including bribery and misuse of office. Although a report was previously completed in February, when the AG's office reached a settlement that called for Paxton to apologize publicly for calling them rogue employees and for the four aides who brought the suit to receive a combined $3.3 million, American Statesman reports it flopped when the House balked at resolving the matter with taxpayer money and, instead, a House investigating committee launched a review into Paxton's many legal issues. American Statesman reports Payment records obtained by the statesman show that through mid-May the Attorney General's office had paid Louis Brisbois $519,000 for representation in the whistleblower lawsuit. The firm was brought on at the end of 2020 when the whistleblower lawsuit was filed. The total cost for the recent whistleblower report is unknown, as invoices do not always include specific work the lawyers did. Additionally, the news outlet notes the revelation calls into question the report's veracity at a time when, ironically, Paxton and his supporters are challenging the legitimacy of a House impeachment vote that did not include first-hand witness testimony or a chance for Paxton or his lawyers to rebut evidence. Furthermore, the second report concludes the firings were legally justified and not done in retaliation for the whistleblower's criminal complaint to the FBI, which American Statesman notes is the basis for two articles of impeachment against Paxton, one that says the report was a sham investigation and the other that says Paxton made false or misleading statements in the report to mislead the public and public officials. The AG's office calls the new report comprehensive and insists that it unequivocally refutes incorrect testimony from those against Paxton. According to the America statesman, Mike Golden, director of advocacy at the University of Texas Law School, emphasized, the absence of a Paxton interview is a significant missing piece of information, noting in a lawsuit when an organization is accused of firing someone wrongfully, primarily the organization's defense is to say, no, we fired them for this other independent, lawful reason. To not be able to verify the stated reason for firing someone with the person who made that decision makes the report almost useless.